So when looking at real estate investing, you want to make sure that you finalize your analysis. And usually what the last thing is that you do is you want to make sure that you've done a proper financial analysis. And a lot of people, they tend to uh, do that at a very cursory level and never really do a detailed analysis. And that's fine when, you, when you're when you starting out and you just want to start putting in high level uh, uh, offers. But one of the due diligences, if that's one of the things you need to do as part of your due diligence is doing a financial analysis. And what that means is getting all the numbers from the owner and figuring out if that property makes sense for you, for you. And that includes a number of things depending on what type of property you're looking for. So if you're looking for just a property that you're going to acquire and flip, the financial analysis is going to be pretty easy, right? All you need to know is you need to know some basic things like what's the uh, property taxes, what is the insurance, what are the renovation costs. So that means you have to look at the property to figure out what the current situation of the property is. And then what can you purchase this property for? And then you also need to do a, a market assessment to figure out what the after repair value is going to be for that property in that market. And that's a pretty simple financial analysis for somebody that's going to do a uh, fix and flip, which is ultimately what you kind of analysis you would be doing, whether you're a bird dog or you're a, a um, wholesaler or, or you're a fix and flipper. The other analysis is if there's a rental property. So then you got to look at all the expenses uh, that you're going to incur as part of uh, owning that property and the types of rents you're going to get uh, as part of renting out that property for that area. Right. So don't uh, move forward until you do that final step, which is doing a full blown financial analysis for the property for the type of investment you're going to do. Okay. So if you'd like what you heard and you want to know how to scale your business really fast, go to invest.chimpellerin.com.